Woo, that's what I'm talking about. Good morning, boys. How you doing? Well, I got to unmute you down here. Hold on just a second. Here we go. There we go. How about now? Can you hear me now? Yeah, we're doing great, Tiki Man. How about you? Man, I'm telling you, we've been rocking around the clock here to uh, some of your music, man, and uh, enjoying it. And uh, I'm so ex- excited. First of all, thank you so much for uh, taking the time to come on Tiki Man Radio. Sunday mornings with the Tiki Man. We love your music and uh, couldn't wait to share it with everybody. Hey, thank you so much for having On behalf of John Jarecki, our bass player, and Al, who can't be here, and Jimmy, our guitar player, and myself, thank you so much for having us. Yeah, Jimmy doesn't talk a lot. He just sits there and looks cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> he hides behind him shade. Yeah, how you doing, Jimmy? Good. Good morning, man. How you uh, doing, Danny? Man, I'll tell you, I'm, I, the best day of my week is being on the radio with everybody around the world chiming in and having a good time, you know? So, uh, awesome. So tell us a little bit about Free Will, and you know, um, yeah, I was kind of telling everybody earlier, you know, you guys were together before, and then 40 years goes by, and uh, y'all decide, you know, listen, this is crazy. What the hell are we doing? We're out here just doing everything we don't want to do. Let's get together and get the band back together, right? Pretty much, that's how it went. Uh, we played together, uh, John, Jimmy, and I, in a band called Free Will, and we played West Michigan and had a good old time then. But things things change in life. We all stuck with music. Mm-hmm. A little time passes, just a little, 40 years or so. Jimmy and I always stayed in touch and a phone call. And, uh, you know, it's funny because we were talking about uh, what kind of drummer we want, what kind of bass player we want. And, uh, well, Al popped into my head. I played with him for years in different projects. And uh, about that time, John floated across social media. Mm -hmm. And uh, just in a matter of what? (laughs) A couple weeks, we we were all jamming again. (laughs) Man, what a difference the music business and social media and all that. I mean, when you guys played before, I mean, you actually had to go and and turn the dial, right, and then call them on the phone, you know? (laughs) (laughs) Yes. Uh, You know, I mean, the funny thing is when you were in school, when I was in school, first thing they did was taught you your phone number, right? And I I can still remember my my phone number was uh, 423-825-0214 and our address in case you get lost, right? Because you had to walk to school right. most of the time. I, I can't even tell you what my mama's phone number is right now because it's stored in my phone. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, things have changed changed us so much in the music business. And uh, so, Jimmy, you've got a, a really cool studio there. Tell us a little bit about your studio. Uh, you know, we're actually in Don's studio. Uh, okay. We both have a, a studio. He lives uh, up north for me about an hour and a half. So, uh mm-hmm. We kind of go back and forth and work in both locations, but uh, we're, you know, basically recording on Pro Tools and uh, just loving it. You know, it's it's, it's something uh, I really missed, and to be able to do this again is just a blast. Yeah, yeah. And you guys are working on some new music. I got the, uh, the uh, uh, let's see, the song you sent last night. Uh, let's see, Ain't It a Beautiful Day? And uh, what a great title that is. And I listened to it last night and because uh, Jimmy was like, hey, man, yeah, I'm gonna send this over, and before he sent the message, I already had the song, you know. And I was listening to it. I'm like, I got it, man, I got it, you know. So awesome. But uh, so, are you putting together a, a whole CD, or what you doing? So we're just uh, taking it one step at a time. We have uh, obviously those two songs are done. The third song, the recording is about done. We work with a, a little shout out, uh, Gabe Yellowwood Media up here, mm-hmm. who does our video. She does a great job for us. And uh, with each song, we're going to release a video. You know, talking about the changes in the music business, I, I don't know how relevant albums are, you know. So yeah. we're just going to be releasing releasing singles until we get a bucket of songs. And then we'll, you know, if we could do some fairs and festivals, those kind of things, we'll have something to sell, you know. Well, it really has changed a lot. And we've talked a lot, a lot about this on the radio that... Uh, it, it almost seems like nowadays uh, EPs as opposed to LPs is the way to go, like maybe four or five songs. Uh, and it seems like you get more bang for your buck with a smaller CD than you do a long one, right? So you can, you can bang out 12 or 13 songs, and some of those songs on that CD may not make it to the airplay or they might get lost in the mix or whatever because people are just kind of picking and choosing. But right. Um, you know, hidden tracks, I always tell people that, uh, hidden tracks is, you know, you can only get it on the album kind of thing, you know? And, um, cause I know some of the artists that have some songs that they, 
they're still in the corporate world as well, and they can't play those, <laughs> but uh, they play them in the in the crowds. Uh, but yeah. Those are hidden tracks, you know. So if you got a hidden track, those are really cool. But yeah, I think um, I think singles, EPs, um, releasing them one at a time, uh, and then maybe releasing them on an EP is kind of the way to go. I'm with you on that. That's that's in the plan. And it's interesting because you know I, I get a different take. Some people are just old school, like man, I want to. I want a I want a full CD and I, I want it in my hands and, and all that stuff. But you know, most of the cars that are coming out, they don't have CD players in them. Uh, a lot of people don't have CDs anymore. I mean, uh, everything is downloadable in their phone. They're syncing these things up. It's a crazy world we're living in. But uh, it's also look how far we've come. I mean, you can produce your own music. You don't have to rent out a, a studio for God knows how much for an hour. It's crazy. It is crazy. It, it is instantaneous uh, now where you used to have to wait. And it does give the small guy, the little guy, a, a crack at it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So give us Here some history. Here we are interviewing with you. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Streaming around the world. Uh, so uh, give us a little bit of history with the band. You said Michigan, right? Is that where you guys were? Uh, was that where you guys played at before when you started out? So, yeah, we were. Uh, Al and John and I, we're all, we all went to the same high school, you know, Jimmy's from the same greater Grand Rapids area. Mm -hmm. And uh, Jimmy and I played in a band, gosh, you were 17, maybe. Yeah. And, so and, uh, sure did, yeah. and I think I was like 20 or some, somewhere in there. And uh, uh, we played with a band and that was our first kind of gig where we got in front of people. And uh, for one reason or another, things dissolved. And then we got together, put the next band together when John came in. And we played, uh, you know, basically uh, parties and uh, some pubs, but some festivals, and we just had a ball doing it. And we were of the mindset even then. In fact, that was when we first went to the studio and started writing songs, because that was our desire. Yeah. And, you know, in those days, if you were playing in the pub, you were pretty much playing cover songs. Yeah. So, and I don't think we were good enough musicians to play cover songs, were we? <laughs> we were winging. So we played our own, you know. Yeah. Well, it hadn't changed much. There's a lot of people playing cover tunes out there in bars and stuff, you know. But no, that's a great thing too. I mean, I, that's great. You know? Yeah. Um, but you know, so much has changed for the artist. Uh, you know, a lot of these digital jukeboxes uh, that uh, bars and restaurants and things of that nature have in their place. You know, that's all controlled by, uh, you know, record companies or whatever. And they make sure that any music is in there, you know, the royalties are coming to you guys and stuff like that. So there's a, there's a lot of checks and balances and things as well. Uh, but on the flip side, uh, you've got so many, you know, iTunes and they're getting their piece of it and all this stuff, you know. So it's, 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 there's a lot more ways to get your music out like we talked last night used to you just right. bang out a cd and hope to hell somebody buys it <laughs> <laughs> that and that's basically how it used to be i mean it, it, you know if you didn't have money behind you you know yeah. you couldn't buy into whoever but but today we're learning and uh, you, you shared some wonderful tips with us last night thank you for that so. yeah absolutely i mean um there's there's so much to to learn as far as uh, doing things as an independent artist and that's kind of what we do here at tiggy man radio is focus on the independent artist and, and try to, uh, you know, help get the name out, get the music out, uh, and, and get you some new fans out there because, you know, you guys haven't really done a lot of the streaming live yet, but I'm sure that's kind of like, man, we got to figure this out. That's, uh, you know, we're, we're looking at this picture of getting six or seven singles in the bag, then take some time to rehearse the band and uh, getting into that end of it, you know. This little setup here that we have going, I don't have a clue how, how Jimmy did this. He wired us up, got us on your show here with you. You know, I don't, I'm so far out of technology that, you know, give me a pad of paper and a pencil. Let me write a song, <laughs> you know. Well, it's That's sad. my world. Yeah, I mean, well, you guys mentioned Christine Jackson that we interviewed last week, and, and yes. she's got a really cool setup in her studio there with Twitch. Twitch is kind of... Uh, another format out there for uh, independent artists that, that want to stream live. But there's so much you can do with green screens and, and all this stuff, you know, that, uh, you know, you can put yourself anywhere in the world on, on a, a live stream. Uh, and yeah. the cool thing is you can put your tip jar up there on the screen as well. <laughs> so it's, it's really changed a lot. But, um, 
Yeah. And now you went through. Uh, you got some. You got some uh, independent CDs out there yourself, right? Yeah, I have three CDs out there, and just a, a whole can full of stuff that we will release in the future here of stuff that you know never saw the light of day yet. But I spent most of my that forty years in and out of the studio writing songs and, and yeah. so forth. So yeah, there's three CDs worth about 30, 30 some songs out there. Yeah. So back at, back when the band was together, and then everybody went their separate ways. It's just life happens, right? Yeah, there wasn't. I think really the drummer took a different direction, and uh, that kind of started. We put a couple different drummers in, and I don't know what happened. It, we all just decided to walk down a different road. There wasn't bad feelings though. Yeah, there wasn't bad blood, and you know, really, Jimmy and I, we've played together several times during that period of time, and and uh, we've had a great relationship, and uh, yeah, so there there never was bad blood. One thing about this crew that we're working with, it's a tight little nucleus. There's just four of us. Yeah. So it's simple, and uh, it gives everybody a little breathing room, and they all bring their part. And that's what freewheeling was all about originally was no boundaries, you know. And, and uh, so it's interesting. I, real quick, I had a conversation with my uncle. He's uh, 93 years old. He still has a dance band up here in northern Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Hey, I love it. Wow. It's cool. It, it, and, I mean, they're a real dance band. They, they play eight different styles mm -hmm. in rotation, and people drive – because nobody does that anymore with the twirl skirts and the steps, yeah. you know, nobody does that up here anymore. So they have a pretty good little following, but I was just talking to him. He's always interested in what we're doing. And uh, he's, he uh, just, just nodding his head while I'm talking, nodding his head. And he says, yeah, it's kind of an unfinished business. And <laughs> that's really what music is. It's an unfinished business. That's so true. That's so true. I mean, you know, even the Eagles, you know, they, they were all talented and, uh, you know, they all went their separate ways, but they never really, they all had success. And, uh, of course, we had to go through the music of the 80s and all that stuff, you know, but the, they never had that magic uh, that they had together, you know. And uh, when they, you know, the Hell Freezes Over tour, when they finally come back right. together, because they left that door open, right? You know, we're not getting they back did. together till Hell Freezes Over. And I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure Don Hanley's like, man, that'd be a great album one day, you know. So, yeah. <laughs> you know, but uh, you know, they. Yeah. I'm glad they did because you know we lost Glenn Fry and all that stuff. You know, I mean, I'm glad they they you know decided to do that and get back together. And I'm glad you guys did as well. And it's and so is it all the original members back together? So three of us, three. Uh, Jimmy and uh, John and myself, we were in freewheel and, and uh, Al. Uh, Al and I developed a relationship through the years. He was my go-to studio drummer yeah. uh, on my other projects. He didn't do all of it, but he did a, a lion's share of it. Now, Jimmy, so, so, go ahead. So Al, uh, it's interesting with Al when we're when we're getting back together, right? And I told Jimmy, I, I got the drummer. I know who we want here, and and I called him, and we hadn't played together for I don't know ten years maybe, and and. Uh, I said, hey, Al, what, what, is life uh, good for you right now? Can we get do a little music? And uh, uh, so he says, well, he says, my shoulder's hurting. You know, I got rid of my kid. I know that story. I got rid of my stuff 15 times and bought it again, you know. But yeah. anyway, <laughs> so, right. so, so they went on a vacation, and uh, I, I called him back. I said, did you give that any thought? He says, well. I bought a new kit. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, he, so that's how, you know, he came in with us three, and uh, that's that story. Well, you know, we always talk about how nothing brings people together other than music. And, and it's not just people listening. It's band members as well. You know, I mean, you, and if you have that chemistry, uh, we've got another uh, band that uh, we're, we know really well, um, southern draw band and they um split up the band it's mike nash and southern draw band now which wherever he's at that's the southern draw band but when they get back together all the original members and play i mean you can just tell you can just see the excitement uh because it's they know what the next tune's going to be they know how you know how long this is and what you're going to do on a guitar and all that stuff it's just you just can't replace that once you reach that magic right chemistry yeah chemistry, chemistry. yeah yeah and, and so jimmy did, you're you're kind of the guru guy so i mean it, did you produce music or just continue doing music or what did you do in all, all this downtime you know yeah I, I kept playing uh and i've always had a small studio at home mm -hmm. uh i have uh my son nick had uh some relative success playing in a band and 
uh, you know, I taught him how to how to record. When he was young, I said, you know, if you're going to do this, I said, you need to learn how to write music and record it. Yeah. So, you know, at like 14 years old, he started. And I would, you know, we'd go to, I, I had a shop for my work, for my office. And uh, we had studio set up there. I'd go down there with him and his buddies and we'd record. And I was teaching him the whole time. And at some point, you know, he's like, yeah, we're going to go down to the studio and record. I'm like, okay, I'll get my, you know, car keys. He's like, no, Dad, we got it, you know. <laughs> kind of worked myself <laughs> out of a position there. <laughs> but oh, pretty I awesome. Yeah. Pretty happy to have that. I re- Nick, very talented young man. Yeah, I raised, uh, I helped raise, uh, I should say, five kids. And, uh, of course, they're all grown now. I'm just here for money and advice, okay? That's all it is now. But <laughs> at, at some point in time or another, you know, you, you realize that, you know, you know, they're doing okay. They're doing okay. You know, they're figuring things out and, and, uh, you got to let them figure it out as well. But, uh, that's, that's the best. It, everything is COD. Call on dad. <laughs> <laughs> I got uh, J man in the studio. He's a, he's a rocker at heart as well. Mm-hmm. And, uh, he was really digging your music this morning. Yeah. Very, very good stuff. I like the feel of it. I mean, it's not something that you hear a lot of in current music, even current traditional rock music, as they're calling it now. You know, if you look like at the white stripes and all that, it seems like you're going back to your roots and definitely bringing back that good old sound. Yeah, yeah. That, that's our intent, and thank you. And uh, that's our intent. How we're doing it these days is, uh, Jimmy's, um, we're coming in with a riff, and uh, we're trying to set up the song around that riff. But, you know, we're, we were cooked in the 70s, right? Yeah. So mm-hmm. that's, a, you know, I'm a Mata Hoople guy. Who remembers them? Yeah. I, I do. <laughs> An awesome yeah, band, go, to say man. the least. So, so, so uh, you know, thank you. That, that's we are, where we are headed, though. Yeah. Right down that And that's way. good. I mean, it's great stuff. I mean, the sad thing is you're probably not going to get a whole lot of airplay. I hope that you do, and I know you will on Tiki Man Radio, but... Man, terrestrial radio doesn't accept things like this anymore. Well, I'm telling you, you know, that's the, you know. And that's the sad thing. This is good stuff. It is great stuff. And, and you know, and these guys, they'll get out, they'll do some interviews yeah. and, you know, and, and all that good stuff, you know. So uh, I'm not worried about these guys at all. But uh, let's let's go ahead and play that other tune, the brand new one. Nobody Ooh. has heard, by the way, debuting on Tiki Man Radio. And thank you that's for it. that. Thank you. Uh, this tune is... Uh, it, uh, ain't it a beautiful day? Ain't it a beautiful it day? It sure is. All right, here we go. We're going to play that. You guys hold tight. We'll come back to you, okay? All right. Thank here, you. Here we go. Wow. Yeah. Good <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Thank you, man. Absolutely, wow. man. Ain't it a beautiful day? I mean, that's what you got to do on a, you know, we try to, our, our biggest thing here is I try to, everything I do, whether I'm writing in the morning or I'm, I'm, I'm you know, the radio, whatever we're doing, where we're going, it's all about positive vibes, right? Trying to send out positive vibes. So uh, ain't it a beautiful day? That's just like going out and screaming it to the top of your voice, you know? <laughs> we had a lot of fun doing that song. Yeah, that's cool, man. Uh, so yeah, and it, go, go ahead, Jimmy. Every day we got together to record uh you know, we did it uh, in last summer, and it was a gorgeous day every single time we got together. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we're in the woods, out on a river, you know, in the sticks, and it was just, it fit the song. Every time we got together to, to work on that song, it was a beautiful day. Yeah, so, it was. Yeah, you know, that's, that's awesome. mu- musical gods shining down on you, like, here's yeah. here's the light. <laughs> Go towards the light. <laughs> yeah. And really, that's what that song was all about, was, uh, you know, Hey, turn off the, yeah, we've all had a tough year, right? So turn off the tube, go out the door, head down the road and get to that, uh, just that special place, you know, enjoy it. That's what that song's about. Yeah, man. I mean, uh, it was tough last year, but, uh, I, you know, there were so many positive things that, that did come out. There's a lot of negativity. Don't get me wrong. And, you know, everybody had their brain drained with everything that was going on. Amen. But, Amen. you know, you, I always say, you know, you got to cut off those negative vibes and cut on a positive vibes and cut on Tiki Man Radio, for instance. But, yeah. um, yeah. you know, I think now, I think it's starting to turn and people are looking forward to going here and going there. We got a whole group of uh, what we call the Conkfish Nation down in Key West that are going to join us here at noon. And, uh, you know, people are out and about. Key West is wide open. We're going to Jamaica. We'll be in Key West at the end of the month. Mm-hmm. Going back at the end of the year, finally be able to get back to Key West and do our festival. I mean, there's so many great uh, things are yeah. happening. You know, it's just, it's all positive vibes. Well, hello to the Conkfish Nation. There you go. Okay. There you go. Yeah. And, and by the way, crew, happy Pi Day. Yeah. Hey, happy Pi Day to you too, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, B-Dog was like, I like chocolate pie. <laughs> 
<laughs> I was thinking of some of that key lime pie. Ooh, <laughs> that's really that's good. My favorite. I like chocolate pie. No, it's a different kind of pie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's out there. He's out there. I'm just messing with him. He's out in mm-hmm. the chocolate bar getting a beer. So, anyway. <laughs> Yeah. All right, so tell us a little bit um, uh, about where people can get your music at. I'm, and I know you're CD Baby, but uh, you got a website or anything like that? Yeah, we've got uh, our website is donsprickfreewheeling.com, mm-hmm. and it's got a uh, link to our YouTube. We've got YouTube, we're on YouTube and Facebook, and we're, we're trying to get on to all these things. We're on Twitter as well, I think, right now. Yeah. Yep. It's different. So man. We're, we're, we're catching up. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of things to follow, that's for sure. We're getting there. Well, we give a shout out to uh, Al's wife, too. She's really helping us with this uh, internet stuff. And, yeah, it's you know, awesome. We're so far behind. I know. But I remember when I went to my mom's one time, and this was about five years ago, and she's like, uh, Are you on that uh, My Face? <laughs> yeah. yeah, my mom on my wait, face. Wait a minute, be careful with that one. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding, no kidding. Yeah, but uh, so yeah, uh, you guys, uh, man, I just love what you got going on. I love the vibe of it. I love the the history. Uh, not many bands can can have that kind of history and come back to it. Usually, bands will break up and mm-hmm. they won't get back together. You right? Know, you know, so. Um, you know, I think uh, again, it's, it's a it's a little brotherhood. It really is. We 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 had a meeting at Jimmy's house. Um, and my, the other guys live around Grand Rapids, which is you know that's that's where we're all kind of from. But mm-hmm. you know, within thirty miles, and we we just sitting around the table with a cup of coffee or something else, and just smiling. I mean, we we are getting uh, FM play all over the world right awesome. now. Awesome, nice, good, good, Spain, good. France, non English speaking countries. Uh, you know. <laughs> so, so freewheeling has really, um, really been a, a good thing. Good. Yeah. Well, J-Man used to be in uh, terrestrial radio, as yes. we call it, up in St. Louis. And so we're, yeah. we're both not big fans of terrestrial no. radio. But because, you know, it's it's like, man, it's like the, the same ten songs over and over and over and over, uh, you know. And, yeah. and uh, yeah. so that's what he was talking about earlier. But, yeah. you know, get it. the um, – uh, International Singer Songwriters Association, the Americana Music Association, which is how I found your music. I got it in an email, okay. uh, and, and and you're right. They're sending it out to uh, Europe and all these other places and stuff. And uh, you know that's good. I mean, so many things of, of getting your music out that you you know this is all new to you guys. It's all, to, this part is totally new. And again, this is our first interview. And again, we, we just want to thank you. By the way, it's Blue Shirt Day if you hadn't. <laughs> yeah. You know, I have a Tiki Bear Radio blue shirt. I almost wore the damn thing. <laughs> but I decided to go old school. This is our old That's old how good we are. We just, oh, okay. Well, we look like twins or something. <laughs> Well, the uh, now the video thing, you know, I mean, you, you guys, you know, act like you're not real good techie or whatever, you know, but the, the video, a lot of artists out there are not doing videos. Now, what, what made you decide to do the videos? So that just was a decision that Jim and I, when we, again, Jim and I had probably talked for a year um, mm-hmm. in, in what we wanted and how we wanted to proceed with it because of what we have going on in our lives and so forth. Sure. And that's when we decided to do singles, and it worked we met Gabe through, a, we had a connection, we met her through with Yellowwood Media, and uh, we worked something out with her, and she's really fun to work with, she's very professional, you know, we only have so much budget, but she she comes there, and we just kind of go where she tells us, you know, and <laughs> yeah, you know, so we're not, it's not like we're producing these videos or anything either, she, she does a great job with it, and she's she did the next one coming out. Uh, which is a beautiful day, and then the, the, we're going to do, I think, what, the second week in April, we're going to do shoot the third video, and uh, yeah, so we just think that that's an important part of it. And, uh, yeah, and, and these videos are not on like, your website. Right. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and website and Facebook and Facebook and YouTube, basically. Yeah. YouTube, probably more than anything, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. YouTube's big. Uh, we... We started out last year trying to grow our YouTube channel. We had 13 subscribers, and it was me peeling a potato, okay? Uh, it was a very, very interesting uh, inter- uh, video, and now we're over 2,500 subscribers. 
uh and you know we're doing this whole streaming the show on youtube and and we couldn't have done it without all of our tiki man radio fans and listeners and the conch fish nation and all those guys who rallied around and and beat the hell out of their family members to subscribe you know so uh uh, we really appreciate everybody that uh allows us to to be a part of this well we're on board with you (laughs) awesome yeah yeah yeah. Well, guys, man, it's been great talking to you. I hope uh, you will stay in touch with us and send us some, some music when you get it. And uh, you get ready to release that CD. Let us know so we can get you back on and uh, we'll do it all over again. Sounds great. Awesome. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah, we really appreciate you. All right, man. We're, we're, we're going to let you guys fly. And uh, I'm going to put a link to the website uh, when, I, when, I, when I go back and cut this video out of the show. I'll put the link in to you guys' website so they can check out more for you, okay? Yeah, that'd be great. And uh, actually, most of our interaction is done on Facebook right now, and that's uh, so very cool. All right, man. Love you guys, and uh, keep doing what you're doing, man, and you're doing the right thing, and and, uh, we'll help you out all we can here. You're always welcome at Tiki Man Radio. Thank you so much. Thank you, Tiki Man. All right, man. See you guys soon. See (laughs) y'all. Bye.